Wow, okay, so, <laughs> oh my goodness. I gave Rupert a fright and then Rupert gave you a fright. Eh? Okay, go down. Let's see. Let's see your belly. Let's see if we can have your baby. You're uncomfortable, eh? I know. You like that stuff? <laughs> you finding some food on her? It's only a matter of time before you can't pass anymore, guys. So much to do here on the farm. It's spring. I'm trying to sort out this mess of a garden that we have. Luke is clearing land still, like a machine. Last week we uncovered canals and terraced walls, and this week it's time to burn all the material because we have way too much. And with summer fast approaching, we need to make our land fire safe. Hopefully, under all this mess, I'm going to find some delicious asparagus to eat.
already. Week two of clearing land. Fun, fun, fun. Just a wee fire this morning over there. Alrighty, run down these two hallmarks, give them a bit of air. How amazing is this wall, eh? Who knows when it was built? Just absolutely lovely, it's so beautiful. Over here, come September, we're planning to plant some olive trees because we don't have enough. So we'll be planting them along this canal because we know at least, not in summer, but the rest of the year, there's enough water for us not to have to come here and water them. So if we plant them in September, I'm hoping that by the following summer, we won't need to water them because they would have established themselves a little bit. We'll see how it goes. But it's gonna look amazing over here. It already is amazing, but it's gonna be even more amazing. Right, those two fires are pretty much out. They're smoking, but I'll keep an eye on them and I will move up another terrace and keep going up. I'm only picking the asparagus of year three and year four. I don't have much of year two or year one really because I got lazy the last two years. And because this bed was such a mess, to weed it I did ruin a couple of them. But here are the rules when picking asparagus. First of all, you should only pick them when they're half an inch thick and more obviously, and six to 10 inches tall. So this is my first one. <laughs> you have to pick it before it opens, which is good. 
But some of them are opening and they're much smaller than this. I think this is probably gonna taste woody, but we want to try it. I can only pick asparagus for the first eight weeks of the growing season and then I stop and let the ferns grow so they can develop stronger roots for the year after. What else? When I was clearing the beds because they're such a mess, I damaged a couple of them. Once they're damaged, apparently they stop growing, so you might as well just pick them and eat them damaged or else they're just going to get ruined. And also when picking them, I go as low as I can to the bottom. So you're picking, so you're cutting the woody bit. Because if you cut where it's nice and juicy, then you will lose a lot of the moisture. So it's better to cut it from there. I damaged one or two baby ones, which was a pity, but I ate them straight from the garden and they were delicious. They just tasted like peas. They were really, really good. I also already can snap at them. Let's see if it's easier. No, I don't want to do that. And when cutting them, you should really be careful because you, some of them grow very close together and you might damage the one that's still growing. Get away from the camera. I think that's pretty much it for today. Not a bad solo effort. Oh, smoky. Tomorrow I'll come down, weather permitting, with the trimmer. Still more brambles there I missed again. So I'll do all that side, all that corner there. And I can't wait to uncover that huge rock. It's going to look amazing. So what's this trick, Luke? It's a stumpy. It's where they you go from end to end, and where they naturally break is where you should eat them. That's oh. what we were always told. So end. Which? Wow, that's a big piece for my game, Pepper. <laughs> Had bunch. Let's have some eggs and toast and asparagus. Yum. Yummy. Thirty. Thirty seconds.
<laughs> do it. Do it like this with your titties. <laughs> when she doesn't like something, she does this. <laughs> I'll take it. <laughs> Molly. Molly. No, that's Molly's. <laughs> You're clever. What a cutie cute. you are. How cute. Nice heart. It's not going to be okay. Oh, Timmy, what's he trying to do? He said woof in my ear. Did he? He said woof. <laughs> Timmy! What the f is that? <laughs> Timmy's a little f I tell you. <laughs> Money? <laughs> in between rains, I mean, it is raining now, but not heavy. I'm trying to get Peppa's new room ready because I don't want her to give birth with the chickens. I just don't know what will happen if there's blood and babies. Um, so I've disinfected the goat house and I'm putting fresh straw. Peppa, you want to see where you're going to be sleeping soon? I mean, you can sleep with the chuckies tonight. I don't think you're going to have any babies tonight. Hopefully not. Good. Come and watch me make it. This is where you're going to have your babies. Okay. Let's see. Hopefully Peppa will get the message that I want her to sleep in here. When I close early for the chickens because she's not back yet. I find her waiting outside the coop door, which is very cute. But I would like her to move here now because once she gives birth, the babies are going to be here for the two weeks and then they will move and join Maggie's babies. That's enough with the swimmer for now. And yesterday I went to the shops and got a new chain for the, this beauty. I forgot we, I used to use this to clear land. And I'm telling you, it's really, really handy. I had been using the disc on the strimmer to cut like broom and thicker trunks, but it blunts so quick. This is much better and more efficient. Lightweight, better than a petrol chainsaw. So this was sent to us by Keptech about a year or two ago. And I love it. It came with two batteries, but also it's the same battery as the electric secateurs we have from Keptech as well. So we have four batteries and we also have the long extension pole. So we can also use it for this, which is awesome. Oh, what a mess, eh? But beautiful cork oak behind me. I'll uncover this trap over here <laughs> and show you how thick it is. It's amazing. A couple of willows right here, another cork oak right there. And I also found an olive tree, another one. So it's behind this massive broom. Let me clear it out and show you. Yeah, baby. Oh yeah. Olive tree. <laughs> Oh, 
Come on, it's free. Alright, is this going to be the last day for this area? I hope so, because I've got a lot more to do. It just really feels good to feel safe around our borders. So we've done all where we've been living over the last five years, but this has always bothered me, just being so full, this border, and now it's pretty much done. And yeah, This was awesome yesterday, but it does need a clean and a sharpen. So I'll do that. I heard you were naughty girl. Alrighty, that's done. Nice. I have to register the fire now. Up until last year, we always used to use the on the on the computer to register from the ICNF website, um, and it used to crash sometimes and not work. Same with the app as well. But this year, so far, I've been using the app, and it's been super easy. So the app is called. K Masagura, um, safety, safety burning, safety fire, no fire is fog, so K is uh, burning, I think, anyway, click on that, put in your NIF, your password, and the good thing is it saves where you did your last fire, so my last fire is here, the other one's going to be two meters away so I can use the same spot and register it's registered so now we wait for the email from ICNF Let's see there it is boom as previsosh ash previsoinsh atwaish estimam ke possa efetuar a queima so you can affect the burning Con tudo deve consultare o perigo de incendio no proprio dia para garantir que não é muito elevada o máximo. So check the fire rating just to be safe. But all good. Alright. Let's get burning.
I think that's about it for this part. Uh, there's still loads of material, but it's good. At least we don't leave the soil bare. Oh, that's a lot of material, I tell you. I think we can move up to the next terrace. The higher we go up, the more beautiful it gets. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Shall I give you a tour? We've uncovered beautiful boulders, which hopefully next year will be full of moss. An amazing cork oak over there and the olive that I told you about before. A couple of willows. This awesome boulder. <laughs> How amazing. And the canal continues up to here. Now someone told us last week they're called levadas. Oh yeah. Or levadash, I guess. Leva means to take. So levada would be taken. So I guess it takes water away. Maybe that's where it comes from. And over here, cork oak, cork oak, boulders, boulders, molly poppy over there we discovered. I love this corner of it. Come and mm -hmm. see it from this side. Over here, look how cool. Wow. It's really deep as well, eh? Very deep. This levada. And over here you can see a huge rock must have fallen in, God knows when, from here. <laughs> See it? Yeah. It's good there. It's a little bridge. Water still passes. Yeah. But once this all, like, over time gets washed and everything is going to look amazing, all the grass is going to come up. Yeah. And then when we plant all the olive trees, which is what we want to do over here, it's going to be awesome, eh? This big terrace over here. I think we can leave the the fire to burn out slowly and then we'll throw some water. I mean, there's pretty much a river right next to it. Um, but let's go up to the last bit of the terrace. I've already cleaned quite a bit. Follow me. I think we can do our last fire down here. Look, those jeans have seen better days, eh? All my clothes. They're tearing from the back. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Two tears. Come on through, come on through. You're welcome, you're welcome. The canal continues here, and this is where we have seen the waterfall when it rained heavy on this back wall. And we found this over here. So, someone made that. And I covered that bit yesterday. Wow. So I think all we need to do is take yeah. out a few of these hawthorns, maybe leave a couple, take out this huge monstrosity over here so there isn't too too much it's not crazy a few brambles there maybe <laughs> so we are cutting a few of the hawthorns now the reason why is you can graft apples pears quince i think rosice is the latin name for the group i think anyway um but whenever we cut them down they always shoot up new shoots so our plan is to where we want where we want to we cut them, hopefully a shoot comes up by next year and um, next spring uh, we'll hopefully be able to graft on either pear or apple, we'll see. So let's bring our stuff up here, start a fire and hopefully finish this bit. And we'll be completely done over here, which nice. is two weeks hard work, but it's just so beautiful. I mean, look at <laughs> behind you, you know, with the boulders and it's just amazing. It's amazing! <laughs> and also, we have been thinking for a long time what we're going to call our farm. Yes. And recently we decided, and it's going to be called Big Rock Farm, because <laughs> of all the big boulders. Nice and so, simple. Yeah, we're, we're really happy with that, because I was thinking of a name for my kids' channel, and it was Sarah's Happy Place, but now it's going to be a Big Rock Farm, which is perfect, <coughs> I think.
I'm gonna feed you, okay? I'm just gonna get you your food. <laughs> We're finished down here, and I tell you, it can't be soon enough. Huh? Look at you for This though. week was much harder than last week. Yeah. We did much more. We worked every day. It's getting hotter. It is getting warm. <laughs> Spring is definitely Frost here. Fast approaching. <laughs> yeah. Woo. So I'll give you a quick tour, but um, you can see, I think you can see the flowers behind on the terraces where we got to last year. So it's all the way clear. Makes me feel good. <laughs> and now next week, instead of, um, there's a big patch after all those flowers, I'll show you soon. Um, but instead of doing that, I'm gonna work on the top border. If you look in the far, far distance, all that is ours. We only found out last year. We thought we cleaned along the border last year. And then we looked at the maps at the plans and we realized we have another hectare up there. So we want to clean that because that's the border. And you're supposed to have it clear for like 50 meters, is it the border? If they had a house, but the house is further than 50 oh, yeah. meters. But yeah. I like to be a good neighbor and have it nice and clear yeah. for, for they them. They do and it for us, us so. Exactly. Yeah. Theirs is clear. It's beautiful there. Man. Yeah. Uh, but we, uh, we have had walks through there and we checked where the borders are and everything. It doesn't look like there's much brambles, which is good. We'll see once you get in Cause, there. Because, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's not great. Do, 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 check out that terrace wall all the way round. It's so beautiful. This is definitely my favorite spot from where we've cleaned these last two weeks. This amazing wall over here with a big boulder there. Canal over there. There's another canal at the top, which is where we stopped clearing land. I don't know if you can see a couple of stones there, but that goes all the way to the big rock which we showed you last week. Amazing. And over there you can see Turtle Rock which we cleaned up to last year. So amazing. And all these terraces cleared last year. And I'll show you what I'm gonna attempt to do in the next two weeks. It might have to be three. So there's Turtle Rock. And that's where we cleared. So now, next week, and the following week, and maybe the third, I'm pretty sure you can see that line. That's where we thought the border was. But in fact, it's all the way to the top. And it goes all the way around. It's about one hectare. And we're also going to try and use our chipper since it's closer to home. We will see. Ah. 
but I'm definitely getting into the groove of things like uh, body wise because <laughs> last week I tell you the pains I was getting my screams weren't fake <laughs> um, but this week I'm feeling much better you know it's like I spent a couple of months building that pig house and you're using different muscles and then on this first week was a nightmare but now I'm kind of into it so I'll show you quickly this beautiful boulder <laughs> it's just so beautiful eh it makes it so all worthwhile and the, the levada here which goes all the way down and we also uncovered this little cutie! <laughs> You can't sleep in here. You can't. Come. Let's go. Have a sleep outside. You can't have your babies in the coop. I've always had the babies in here, but you can't. Go on, chickies. Go on, chickies. Inside.